So five things to think about if you're getting shin splints. So you'll probably find it's a pain radiating up, radiating up a little bit near your, your shin bone or maybe the muscles around it. So first thing, are you wearing the correct footwear? We often find people um, maybe just sort of start to use their sort of daily trainer. I would always recommend getting fitted for a proper pair of running shoes that are one suited to you. So for example, if you've got quite a lot of overpronation, instability of the knee hip, then potentially a stability shoe is, is what you need. And then getting a shoe that's got the correct levels of cushioning and that they actually fit you. Other thing to think about, if you've maybe got a pair of running shoes at the moment, how many miles have you done in them? Again, we frequently find that a lot of people, you've done four, five, six hundred miles, cushioning's compressed, it's really solid underfoot, and that, your shoe's not shock absorbing, it's not taking in any of the impact anymore. Uh, number two, biomechanical flaws, massive thing. Uh, if you imagine if you're heel striking aggressively, which is linked to obviously to overstriding, if you have a lot of that going on, you're breaking, you're putting a lot of force through your lower leg. That lower leg force is only going to contribute towards things like shin splints. So, um, for example, I'd always recommend going to see a Ken who does our biomechanical assessment because potentially fixing a biomechanical flaw is what's going to help solve the issue for you. So, something to think about. Number three, think about what surfaces you're running on. Often people, are, well obviously there's a lot of tarmac that we, where we live nowadays, if you're repeatedly hitting hard surfaces, potentially with sort of biomechanical flaws, you're just going to aggravate the problem even more. Um, and all that sort of force, solid impact on tarmac, it's just going to radiate up, up your leg. So think about softer surfaces um, that are fairly stable, so things like maybe hazel head, um, maybe the railway line, that type of thing, and it will hopefully just ease off some of those um, sort of shin splint symptoms that you're, you're, that you're getting. Next thing, really important, mobilise and strengthen the area. So one of my favourite things to do, if you get a hockey ball, spiky ball, um, not on your shin bone, but down the outside you have the tibialis. Um, if you think about ho getting a hockey ball and just finding a tight area and massaging the front of um, the front of the shin, so it's not on the shin bone, just to the side of it, and you'll find that will really help loosen loosen it off, and then strengthening it. That's the long term fix. So one of my favourite exercises, tibialis raises. So get the heel elevated. Um, there's plenty of videos on YouTube, Google that'll show you how to do it. But it's literally just a thing about lifting up your toes um, from the ankle. Uh, and it's just getting the tibialis moving uh, in that dorsi flexion movement that's really, really important in running. So thinking about those things, mobilising the area, strengthening it. My last sort of kind of tip or, or thing to think about is reducing your mileage. Everyone hates uh, talking about it. I'm not saying to completely stop running, but if you suddenly increased your mileage, really think about just decreasing the mileage a little bit. Um, until you find those symptoms go away. So maybe that's reducing it to just a run for a mile, two miles, three miles. When you start to feel like the symptoms are going away, slowly increase that mileage back up. So just think about increasing it by, by 10%, something like that. And also think about your weekly mileage. It's not just, uh, oh, I've only run um, 10 miles um, this week or Oh, I've not run any further than 5k, but you've done six runs in that in that week. So just think about slowly increasing the weekly weekly mileage. Uh, and last thing, I I'm not a physio. I can give you some some tips. So I can give you some tips about running shoes. But I would 100% if you find that you've had shin splints for several weeks and it's not going away, go and see a physio about it. I would highly recommend the guys upstairs at T Sports Therapy. But Whoever it is, um, the physios are best place to, to get you sorted. So hopefully that helps.